Hey everybody, welcome back to the brand new release preview video. Today we're opening 2022 Prism Baseball. I've got three hobby boxes in this preview video. There's going to be three autographs per box, nine autographs altogether. Let's see what we can find in here, folks. Thank you very much for joining us. This kicks off a very busy weekend around here. I have five videos for you this weekend. Yes, five. I've got a new release right now of Prism. I've also got a new release of Tobbs Gallery. I've got a new release of Pro Debut. I've got Stay Classy Packs, and uh, I've actually got two different Stay Classy Pack videos. So, so there's just a whole bunch of stuff going on right now. I hope that you will hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. Now let's go ahead and see what we can find in these prison boxes. Let's tell you a little bit about it before we rip into it. There's 270 cards in the base set. Wander Franco who is the cover boy of this box. I think the box, me personally, I think the box is kind of boring. There's not a lot of color popping out of this, kind of just um, very, I don't know, just very not lively. So we're looking for um, prisms. There's going to be 15 prisms per box. It looks like three silver prisms. Also, tiger stripes and giraffe prisms. Hot boxes are out there featuring 24 navy blue Carolina parallels. And uh, let's go rip into these and see what we can find, folks. Hope everyone's having a pleasant evening. Sorry that this is getting up a little later. It's been just a crazy day over here. My cases, all of my pro debut cases got sent to the wrong address. All my prison and pro debut cases. So that ended up setting me back a little over an hour. So better late than never. So I'll bring you the pro debut releases tomorrow. I've got jumbos. I've got hobbies of those. I also picked up, uh, like I said, I got gallery and uh, I've got brand new Chrome. I've got the Chrome Mega Boxes. And look at the very first card we will see of Prism. It's gonna be Wander Franco's rookie card. So a nice one right there. The backs of the cards are very Prism-esque. Just gives you a little uh, information about the player and gives you the most recent stat line as well. One good thing about Prism is there's a lot of parallels that usually will come about. Those will all be at the bottom of each box. There's a Dari Moreta. I don't I don't even remember hearing his name. That's out of 75. You got Yohel Pozo. That's going to be a blue. And Xander Bogarts is the last one in pack number one. Which, by the way, I should let you know. It's John Williamson's box. He's got the first one. If you'd like to sponsor a video like this one or get into our Saturday showdowns or our live breaks, check us out on Patreon. We uh, usually have um, a couple breaks a week there, and we do a video every single day. There's a Vladdy Jr. Illumination card. Hans Kraus, upside down Kyle Muller out of 10. So nice pitching prospect there with the Braves. Kyle Muller is our first one, and nice that it's out of 10. Low number on this rookie autograph. Kyle Muller, there's Zach Gallen, Prism Refractor, and rookie class, Wander Franco at the back end of that pack. So 12 cards per pack 12 packs per box 144 cards per hobby box the price on these is around 140 ish depending on where you go you might be able to find it as low as 130 you might uh, find it for 150 as uh, box prices do swing a little bit um, depending on where you get it from sometimes you'll be able to get it at a hobby store for their pre-order price they may only charge you five extra bucks over what they paid for it there's Aloy Jimenez blue which is not numbered and Max Scherzer is the last one there for John so we got one auto in the books. Let's check out what else we got. Cutter Crawford. There's Julio Arias and Otto Lopez. Jake Myers rookie card. Jance Junk has a great name for a pitcher, I think. Old school. And there's Aaron Judge. 61 home runs. And look at this. We have a redemption card. Who's it going to be? It is going to be a rookie autograph. Please be J-Rod. Or Bobby Witt Jr. It is going to be Edward Cabrera, pitcher for the Miami Marlins, is the hit. All right, Cattell Marte, red. I was got a little hopeful for J Rod there. I guess we'll take it. Edward Cabrera is a decent prospect, decent young pitcher. Hey, speaking of Bobby Witt Jr., look who it is. Bobby Witt Jr. Some really nice rookies over in that American League this year with Bobby Witt Jr. and Julio Rodriguez. Man, the, the Mariners really need him back. They've been scuffling without him. Adley Rushman as well. I think those will be your probably top three. I don't know the order. I think J-Rod's going to be first, and then it's either going to be Bobby Witt or Adley Rushman. I know some of you Guardians fans will say, hey, what about Stephen Kwan? I think he's going to be top five. Spencer Torkelson this year probably not going to finish in the top five in rookie of the year voting. 
Um, man, it's just, I was looking at the stats the other day. I was like, how is he still at six home runs hitting like 206? So he's a guy that needs to get going. And there was a lot of value to his cards early in the year when everyone was all excited when he was called up, made his big league de debut, but uh, just could not really ever get it going. I think he'll get it going eventually. And here's our third and final autograph of the first box. It's Anoli Paredes. Anoli Paredes. So not too bad. The out of 10 autograph was the best one there. So we've got, looks like actually it's like five cold packs here. I call them cold packs. Hey, Seiya Suzuki. Finally, we'll see his rookie card in Topps Update, which um, looks like Topps Update has been pushed back. There's a stained glass card, Corey Seager. And we've got a hot box with five autographs, Jake Berger. So there are hot boxes out there, folks. Either 24 parallels or five autographs, and we got one in our very first box. So Jake Berger, we should have one more autograph in here. I think that the hot boxes, at least... If it follows the way it was in the past, one per case for an autograph hot box and one parallel hot box per case. Maybe, maybe just maybe I picked the uh, the parallel hot box as well. We'll see in the coming two boxes. There's a Raphael Devers. That one's out of 149. And Mookie Betts there at the end of that stack for John. Three more packs, likely one more autograph. I thought we were done with the autos, but that's not the case when you have a hot box on your hands. Seth Beer, rookie card, Austin Warren. We've got Carl Yastrzemski, Ken Griffey Jr. They've got some old players in here. Greg Diekman and Brian Reynolds is the last one. Two more packs for John, and then we'll get to the next box. Next box is, I'll probably do those maybe super rip style, maybe a little faster. Emmanuel Class A, lights out closer. Has great stuff. Jonathan India, that one will be numbered. It's numbered out of 100. Nice Jonathan India numbered card there. We've got old school Nolan Ryan and Brandon Lau, Slugger's card. All right, John, last pack. I expect there to be an autograph in here. Any second. Hey, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe I am wrong. So there used to be hot boxes. Maybe we just got an extra auto there. We had four autographs in that box, which is pretty good. You're supposed to get three. Now it does say... It's on average. So sometimes you might get, most of the time you should get three. Sometimes you might get four like we just did. And then sometimes you might get two. And then what happens if you get one? Nothing you can do about it because it does say on average. I, I mean, I guess you could reach out to the Panini. But likely, you would hope, take care of you if that's the case. Because uh, it does happen. It does happen where they will forget an autograph in a box. And it, it, nobody's perfect. Even... The machines that stuff these boxes and collate the cards are not perfect. All right, so Raymond Seitzinger's up next. Raymond, hey, man. Shout out to Raymond Seitzinger. Out of my Patreon pack this month, he pulled a J-Rod auto. The J-Rod rookie auto, he sent it off to PSA. He told me today in the comment section it got a PSA 10 from the Patreon packs. That's pretty awesome, man. So congratulations on that. He also said his Tim Raines from our 81 tops break ended up with an 8, which he was a little disappointed on. But uh, still not terrible. But, the, man, that PSA 10 on the J-Rod Rookie Auto. Good stuff right there. I like hearing about the, the good pulls you guys get from the packs on Patreon. If you'd like to sign up on Patreon, we do send packs to folks on the higher tiers. And they are typically hobby packs. So it's not like I'm going to Walmart and buying a whole bunch of blaster boxes and sending you retail packs. It's I, I, it's much easier for me just to buy extra hobby cases and then source the uh, Patreon packs that way. But anyway, let's get back to the break here. We've got Nick Allen, kind of a lazy signature right there. Josh Donaldson, Nick Lodolo. We've got Rodolfo Castro. Let's see what else we've got. Josh Lowe. So another autograph already within about two packs worth. We've got two autos. Josh Lowe, rookie auto. He's a really nice prospect with the Rays. We'll see how things turn out for him. We've got Nicky Lopez, Clayton Kershaw. That's going to be a nice blue. It is numbered out of 199. Clayton Kershaw, slam dunk Hall of Famer. He could retire tomorrow. I'm a little afraid that Kershaw, when it comes time to maybe go to a different team, he might just hang him up. Like, if he doesn't go, I wonder, if Kershaw's not going back to the Dodgers and he has to go somewhere else to play, he might just say, you know what, I've had a great career. I'm just going to spend time with my family. Here's a nice one right here, Joe Ryan. Kershaw's got a ton left in the take, I think. 
It's been banged up a little bit, but uh, man, he's still, what is Kershaw, like 33 or something like that? Maybe 34 at his oldest, but it seems like he's been around forever. By the way, I think there's going to be some Clayton Kershaw rookies inserted into the brand new State Classy Rookie Packs. I'm, I don't know if they have an official name yet. I have all the information for you folks on Patreon. I'll put those on sale tomorrow. The Stay Classy Rookie Kaboom Packs. I don't know what they're called, but they are supposedly going to contain Aaron Judge rookies, Shoei Otani rookies. Every pack will have an Otani or Judge rookie. And also he said he mixed in some Clayton Kershaw rookies, some Max Scherzer rookies, all kinds of stuff. So I'm looking forward to uh, opening those up. <coughs> I'll probably do those on uh, Sunday, maybe. <clears throat> Still fighting this little chest cold here. There's Jeremy Pena, rookie card. Maybe I shouldn't have done three boxes for the preview video, but I didn't know that I was going to still have this lingering chest cold. So excuse that cough. I'm sorry, I'm trying my best to breathe slowly through my nose and all that stuff. Uh, out of 99, Ronnie Dawson, not an autograph. We will have one coming up. Panini makes it easy for us to see because they flip the, the autographs over. Matt Manning is going to be the next auto. So nothing too crazy in here. Josh Lowe, the best auto. We'll see if there's anything else. We've got a Jose Siri Blue. And for, there's the J-Rod. Finally, the Julio Rodriguez comes out. So take a look at that one. Julio Rodriguez. Here's the back of the card. It's like they only had that one picture there of Julio. We'll go ahead and get that one top loaded up. It's Jacob deGrom, Wander Franco, Bo Bichette. Got a green coming up here. It's going to be Jake Latz. It's a name that I can't say I've ever heard. It's a tier three at least. Jake Latz. Get that one in the sleeve, I suppose. And at the bottom of this stack... We've got Josh Bell and Jose Altuve for Raymond. So, Raymond, thank you very much. Congrats on getting the only J-Rod so far of this video. And next up, we've got Andrew Craig at spot number three. So, our final box of this evening is for Andrew. Now, tomorrow, I'll probably bring you a new release preview of Gallery and Pro Debut. Um, it's getting a little late right now. It's already after 8 o'clock. So, I'll, I'll just do those for you tomorrow. Rest up, rest the voice and everything, and then... Tomorrow night, we'll have a Saturday showdown featuring Prism Pro Debut, probably Top Series 2 Jumbo, maybe a little Immaculate. I haven't opened those up for sale yet because, honestly, with the whole case snafu and them going to a different location, I didn't even know if I was going to get my cases today because they weren't even in my, they never showed up in my um, shipper's profile page where all my, I can always look at all my cases and see when they're coming, where they're at, but it wasn't there. Then my mom texted me, she's like, hey, I got uh, all these boxes on the doorstep. Oh, yep, yeah, they, uh, I guess they accidentally sent them to you instead of me. That's just because I had them rerouted there when I was in Houston a couple week weekends ago, and they never changed it back, I guess. All right, but anyway, we've got Mason Thompson. That one's out of 99. Autograph number one of three. Zach Gallen, Ronald Acuna Jr. We've got a Dari Moreta once again. That one's out of 99 for Andrew. Another autograph coming up. There's the Bobby Witt Jr. Take that one, put that one aside. It is going to be an O'Neill Cruz out of 50. There we go. O'Neill Cruz, blue auto. O'Neill Cruz definitely is one of the big names around baseball this year. He showed his skills pretty well with those 100 and 19 mile an hour exit velocities and 98 mile an hour throws across the diamond from shortstop. The guy has some unreal ability, and I'm really interested to see what he can do in a full season. I think he will be a 40 home run bat. He's not even filled out yet. The, the kid is still extremely skinny. He's 6'7". If he can put on some more weight, get a, a frame like Aaron Judge, look out, playing at PNC Park with that short uh, Clemente wall out there in right field. It's only 320 down the line. And the way uh, the, the way the ball leaves his bat, he should have no trouble hitting 40 home runs. The big question about O'Neill Cruz is, is he going to stick at shortstop with that giant frame? I would say if he's going to bulk up, fill out a little more, he's probably going to have to go play a corner position in the outfield. But uh, that's okay because the Pirates have some nice shortstop prospects coming up through the minors. Nick Gonzalez is probably not too far away. 
All right, here we go. Last stack here for Andrew. Good luck, Andrew. Let's see what we can find here in our final stack of this Prism new release video. And we'll be opening more of this tomorrow night where the lowest numbered card takes them all. There's Ty France. That one's numbered out of 125. Ronnie Dawson right there. Shane Boz, you shut down for the year. And this could potentially be our final autograph. It's going to be Yohel Pozo out of 75. Yohel Pozo, rookie auto. The O'Neill Cruz, for my money, was the best one of the box. But you might say, well, that's because you lived near Pittsburgh. Well, O'Neill Cruz is also pretty darn good. How about Shelly Otani, by the way? Look at that nice stained glass card. <laughs> if not for Aaron Judge, there he is. Shohei Otani would be walking away with the MVP this year. It wouldn't even be close. He'd be unanimous. But Judge has had a historic season. A season only comes along once every 60-some years, seemingly. And uh, it's a nice Mike Yastrzemski. This one's going to be numbered out of just 35. But I'll tell you what, Otani... If you look at his stats, the guy has Cy Young caliber stats. Now, he's not going to get the Cy Young because I think Justin Verlander's probably got it wrapped up. But Choi Otani is going to be a top three Cy Young Award finisher, I think. And uh, he deserves to be there. <laughs> Last little stack. It's going to be Austin Warren and Tyler O'Neill to wrap this one up. So there you have it, folks. A little peek at Prism. Three hobby boxes. We'll be doing more of this product tomorrow in the Saturday Showdown. We'll also have the Pro Debut Jumbos for you, which are packed with autographs and some nice Pro Debut Chrome cards and autographs. Those will be fun to look for some of these big-time prospects that you've gotten to know and love in 2022. But when we'll search them, hunt them down in Pro Debut tomorrow. Also, I've got Gallery for you. I went to Walmart today, and uh, I went there at like 7 o'clock at night. Um Picked up the kids from gymnastics, uh, went out to eat, said, hey, let's let's go by Walmart and get some groceries. And of course, we always do it on stock day. And no one, it seemed like no one touched anything. Like, they were just fully stocked. There's tons of Chrome boxes on the shelves, like 15 mega boxes of Chrome, about the same amount of uh, galleries. So I picked up a couple gallery boxes, picked up some Chrome megas. We'll rip all that this weekend. So plenty of videos for you. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Friday, and I will see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.